What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So in this video, so after learning the compatible CAD formats that you can open in Navisworks, so let's start learning the user interface, okay? So the Autodesk Navisworks interface contains a number of traditional Windows elements such as your application menu, quick access toolbar, ribbon, dockable windows, what else? So we also have the dialog boxes and context menus in which you complete the task. Okay, so what are these parts of the Autodesk uh, Navisworks interface? Okay, so the first one is, of course, the big letter N there. Okay, so what is that? So this is your application button and menu. Okay, so if you are going to select your application menu here, this is the application button and menu. So it enables you to access common tools such as uh, new project, open, save, you know already this. So if you are already using AutoCAD or Revit, so you are already familiar to these options here. Okay, so this is your uh, application button and menu so some application menu choices have additional menus that show uh, related commands so just like your open so if you click that arrow so you can see additional options here so how about the export so there's an arrow on the export so if you click that so you can see additional options here if you want to perform export tool okay so to open again your application button and menu, just click that big N. Okay, you can click that to open, click again to close. So that's the first part of the user interface. Now the second one is this area here. So again, this is the this is one of the familiar uh, user interface in Autodesk products. So we call this uh, quick access toolbar. Okay. So your quick access toolbar, by the way, if you want to place it below, you can click that drop down arrow. So there is a tool here or option show below the ribbon. So you will be able to see there your quick access toolbar. Okay, so you can click that drop down arrow and then you can select show above the ribbon. Okay, so this is uh, the toolbar that displays the frequently used commands such as creating a new file or opening a new file, saving file, uh, printing, undo, redo, refresh, and select. Okay, so you can add unlimited number of buttons to our quick access toolbar. So buttons are added to the right of our default uh, commands here. So like for example, so if I go to the home tab so I want to add the clash detective so I can right click that and then I can select add to quick access toolbar so if I click that one so there you go so it's now added on your quick access toolbar so you can also add separators between the buttons so like for example if I right click here so I can select add separator and there you go so there's the separator line okay so only ribbon commands can be added to the quick access toolbar so you can move your quick access toolbar just like what i have shown you earlier below or above the ribbon okay so that's your uh, quick access toolbar now the next one is this area here okay so this area here so that is what you call your info center so this area here so that's your info center so you can see there your username so if you click the drop down arrow you can check the details of your account you can sign out manage license explore the purchase options blah 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 okay so this is your info center so you can also type here a keyword or phrase to search it using your Navisworks manage help Okay, so another part of the user interface is the ribbon. Okay, so this is the ribbon. Okay, so the ribbon is a palette that displays task-based tools and controls. Okay, 
So as you can see, the ribbon here is divided into tabs. So we have, let's say, the Home tab, Viewpoint tab, Review tab, Animation tab, View tab, Output tab, Beam 360 Glue tab, and Render tab. Okay? So each tab is supporting a specific gravity. So like, for example, if you go to Home, here you'll be able to see all the tools that you need for you to be able to open up a project or append a project, selecting a project, performing some tools like Clash Detective, Timeliner, Quantification, and many more. So if you go to the viewpoint, so it has something to do with creation of the view here, like saving a viewpoint, navigating your model here, you can find look around, realism, walk, all of these tools. So these tab supports a specific activity. Okay, so within each tab, tools are grouped together into a task-based series of panels. So some of the tabs are contextual. So when you execute some commands, uh, a specific contextual tab is displayed instead of a toolbar or dialog box. Okay, like for example, if I'm going to select Home tab, and then I select the Select tool, if I click an element here, you will notice a color green tab there. So that is what you call a uh, contextual tab. Okay, so there's the Item Tools tab that will appear. So when nothing is selected, it will become hidden again. So let's say if I'm going to Escape, so you will notice the Item Tools tab disappears. So that is a contextual ribbon tab. Okay, so it displays whenever you select an element or you perform or execute a command. Okay, so that is your contextual ribbon tab. So you can also customize the ribbon depending on how your needs. So like, for example, um, you do not want the home tab here. You can actually drag that and then put it here if you want. Okay, so there's now your tab, your home tab. Okay, so you can drag that tab and then rearrange it. And aside from that, you can also right-click that. And then you can select Show Tabs here. So you, let's say you want to hide the Beam 360 glue. You can just uncheck. Okay, why is it didn't, didn't hide? Show Tab. Hmm... Okay, so what's the problem? Why is it not hiding? Okay, so let me just try again. Hmm, okay. I don't know what's the problem there. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so anyway. Don't know what is happening here, so right click. Okay, so I can actually hide a panel here. So like the visibility you can see it hides the, the panel, the displays, and the tools, okay? So let me just unhide it, and hide the panel. Right click, panels, display, panels, tools. Okay, so I'm trying to hide here a tab. There you go, so I can hide the tab now. Okay, it's just so happened that I have no idea why is it the Beam 360 glue is not being hidden if I uncheck it. So let's say the review, right click, uh, right click and then select the review. So it's now hidden. So let's say the view, so right click, show tabs, uh, view, so it's now hidden. So I have no idea why is it the Beam 360 glue is not being hidden, right? So let me just put it back again, right click, show tabs, view. Okay, and also you can drag the panel here, the ribbon panel. So let's say this one. I can drag that here so I can make that floating uh, ribbon panel. Okay, so there's an option here wherein you can toggle the orientation like that. And then you can return panels to ribbon. Just click that again and then it's now returned here. Okay, so you can basically modify your ribbon. Now the next part of the user interface aside from the ribbon is the of course the scene view okay so this is our uh, scene view 
So here you'll be able to see the model that we are uh, working on. Okay, so that's our model. So you can view your model. You can use the tools there to edit your model or to view it. Okay, so that's our uh, scene view. Okay, so this is the area where you view and interact with your 3D models. So when you start the Autodesk Navis Works, the scene view contains only one scene view, but of course you can add more scene views if needed. Okay, right, so that is your scene view. Again, just a review. This is your application menu and then the button. And then this is your uh, quick access toolbar. And then this is your info center. Of course, this is your title bar wherein you can see the version of your Navisworks Manage and then the type of the file that is open. And then you also have the ribbon and then you have the scene view. Okay, so aside from the scene view, you also have the navigation tools, this one. So this is the one that I am using. So this is your uh, navigation tools. So it provides access to tools related to interactive navigation and orientation in the model. So this one includes these tools here, like the orbit, and you also have the view cube, and then you also have the steering wheels and other tools here. So we know this already because these tools are part of uh, AutoCAD as well and Revit. Okay, so you can click the front there. So if you want to see the front view, you can rotate the view cube like that. And you can use here the orbit. You can click that one. And then as you can see, your, my pointer now becomes orbit. Then I can zoom in by scrolling the middle button of the mouse, just like in Revit or CAD in AutoCAD. So I can use here, let's say, walk tool. So I can click that one. And then I can hold my left click and slowly move forward the mouse and then I can uh, pan the drawing I can click this and then I can pan like this like that there you go and also I can move again using the walk tool there you go I can orbit click the orbit view the model and then I can also look look around so click that one so you can look around the model okay so we will be using these tools as we uh, do some exercises in Navisworks manage so I'm just telling you that this portion here is your navigation tools okay so now another part of the uh, user interface is your dockable windows. So as you can see here, like for example, this Autodesk rendering uh, window. So this is a dockable window. So I can click this, hold my left click, and then I can drag. So let's say I can put it here, floating window. And then if I hold my left click to this part, so as you can see, there's an arrow here. There's an arrow also to this side. And then the, uh, there's an arrow here wherein I can dock there the window the Autodesk rendering window, for example. So I'm just showing you that this is a dockable window. So if I want this to be docked to the right side here, so I just need to hold my left click to that part of the window, and then I just make sure it touches that icon and then release the left click for you to be able to dock your dockable uh, windows. Okay, so most Autodesk Navisworks features are accessible from dockable windows, just for your information. So there are several windows to choose from which are grouped into several function areas. Okay, so that's another part of Navisworks interface, your dockable windows. Alright, so what else? So another part of the user interface is your status bar. Okay, so again, status bar, this is... Uh, another familiar user interface for a for a Autodesk product. So this is your status bar here below. So that's your status bar. Okay, so the status bar appears at the bottom of the Autodesk Navisworks screen. So just at the bottom of the scene view. So this is your 
uh, status bar. So it cannot be customized or moved around. So the right hand corner of the status bar, so it includes some of the indicators here that gives you constant feedback as to know or as to how well Autodesk Navis works is uh, performing on our machine. Okay, so this is your status bar. So just a review. So let's review. So what is this? So this is your application button and menu. Okay, so on the right side, this is your quick access toolbar. And then just below, this is your ribbon. So you have the ribbon tabs, and then you have the ribbon panels. Okay, so we call this the ribbon. Okay, so what else? So we also have our uh, navigation tools. So we have here the view cube and then the navigation bar here. Okay, so that's our navigation tools. And then, of course, we have here our uh, scene view. So this is our scene view. And then we have the dockable windows. And then we also have our status bar. Okay, so these are the basic parts of Autodesk Navisworks interface. Alright, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.